Hello gentlemen, I hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your very own meme coin on base. And it should cost around 10 cents, maybe a bit less. So it's probably one of the cheapest chains to actually launch on. And there is good volume on it. I would say it's probably second or third best chain at the moment. So a lot of people are looking into it. So we're going to use We Launch It. The link is in the description. This will just deploy your contract. It doesn't do anything else. It just makes the contract for you with your parameters. I'm also going to show you how to add liquidity, start trading. We'll make some trades, test everything works perfectly. And I advise you to do the same. And then you can obviously launch your token from there. So I'll show you the whole thing, everything you need to know. So first thing you want to do is connect your wallet. Now I'm going to call this, let's call it shrimp. As all my test contracts are called shrimp. And you put your total supply in. And I'll just put the dev wallet and the marketing wallet can be exactly the same. It's totally up to you. Or you can put a different dev wallet. Or if you don't want it, just put a wallet in there and then select zero for dev wallet. If you don't want a dev fee or if you don't want any tax whatsoever. So marketing fee, I'm going to do 5%. LP I do one and then I'll do five as well. So it shows you the total taxes buy on a six and sell on a six. You can reduce this later. Obviously, I'll, I'll go through everything with you. This is a max transaction. That's how much people can buy. And the max wallet is how much someone can hold in a wallet. So if you've done, I don't know, no max wallet, but they can only buy 1% at a time, that's fine. So now I'm going to deploy the contract. Pay close attention to this. This shows 22 uh, dollars and it probably would be a bit less than that so what you should do is click market and it should drop down so eight cents we'll check exactly how much it costs to deploy afterwards which is no problem so we're going to open up base scan and that's deployed successfully so you can click your link if you lose that link at the top right or you can't find it what you can do is copy your wallet into base scan and then find internal transactions and it should be it's not updated yet let's refresh oh we've got one here so click the transaction hash and then you should see your token name there click that and you've got your contract so everything seems okay now we want to add some liquidity so what you have to do is go over to swap or pause rather now you have an option of v2 or v3 i would advise to add v2 first and then migrate your pool over yeah so we're going to go v2 liquidity we're going to create a pair now you need your contract address which is the shrimp one where are we too many tabs and head over okay and then copy your contract in here this will show your tokens in your wallet if you can't find your tokens make sure you've got the correct wallet connected that you deployed with or you can send your tokens elsewhere so i'm going to add my liquidity i don't know how much that is hundred dollars maybe and you approve once your liquidity is added trading will begin yeah so there's no on off switch you can't switch this is a very safe contract this is why it shows up green on all the scanners etc so we're gonna add our liquidity now so it will show you all our tokens which is 1 million and we're adding uh, that we're going to receive LP tokens if you want to burn you would just send those LP tokens to the dead address and that's your LP burn so now we've got our contract and our LP we can check so we've got our LP here deployed so where does it say liquidity here's our liquidity half of it is tokens value and half of it is obviously the ethereum we added we've had two buyers already so i don't know what they bought less than a, a cent basically someone bought bots obviously and now we're going to do our own test transactions so i'll just change wallet very quickly just to make sure everything's fine base is pretty cheap in terms of gas buying so we go to swap and then let's have a look shrimp and then we'll go with a 0.01 now what you want to see to make sure everything and i'm going to show you how to change things in your contract after so we want to test the buy this is 
advisable if you've never used a contract or you're just learning how to deploy contracts that's how buyer come in and obviously let's do a little sell once it for it I really dislike Uniswap so we've got our tokens here so I'm going to sell 100 tokens remember we got 6% tax so we should end up with selling only 94 tokens so we again we can check that on Dex Screener or sorry Dex Tools and we have to sign this message and if you don't want to watch this part or you know this part, forward it to the part where I'm going to go through the contract itself here. So again, we'll go here. So somebody's obviously brought for, for these bots. So that was my sell, uh, which was, I can't see what happened here. Oh wait, I've got it on the wrong thing. So this is my sell. So obviously I got taxed and this is the contract selling so we want to check our tax worked um, we can do that very easily why we can just go to our wallet i mean if you've got fresh wallets you'll be able to quickly check but again we can go to our wallet so we put this down as our tax and we want to see internal transactions so we received which one is it no that's our lp tokens so if you want to find it you go there and then this is our tax we received, yeah? Value shows that amount. So that's the tax we received. You get it on every buy and sell off of that. So again, we're gonna go in and we'll quickly show you how to alter the contract. So you wanna go to right and the contract you deployed with or the wallet you deployed with, you want to select and connect. Now I'll go through everything here and show you what these are. Approve is basically when you approve uh, in your wallet, that's a contract function in that, decrease amount, etc. That's obviously the approval, increase. You can renounce ownership, just click right and then approve it in your wallet and that's it. You can exclude a wallet from tax. So if you had a wallet, you'll just copy it here and write the word true. If you want to switch it off, you write the word false yeah no capital letters otherwise it will not work don't put a capital letter for the f yeah again same thing with exclude from max transaction max wallet you do the same that's how you just approve or whitelist the wallet like that transfer that's a transfer function within the contract so it allows your token to be transferred again if you want to i don't know burn your or transfer to another wallet or you you know you've met, you lost your keys or, or something like that you can transfer the ownership of the contract as well. Now with the tax, we put 6%. However, this is an 18 decimal contract. So you want to make sure you always have, if we want to change it to 5%, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's how we change. That would equal to 5%. So you would just write that here and you can check with a honeypot detector on base something like that uh, just to make sure it has gone through and it's correct that's what I like to do update dev wallet just put a new dev wallet and the tax obviously I've explained and gone through but really and truly that's pretty much it you might want to obviously burn add the the if you want to burn your LP you'd obviously find the LP token uh, in your wallet and then you add that contract to your wallet which is the LP. So that's our LP in there. You'd add that to your wallet and then you obviously send those to the dead address. You can just Google what the dead address is. But other than that, if you've had enough and you think, okay, that works, that's fine. What you want to do to remove LP is go back to your V2. Sometimes it doesn't come up. All the time it doesn't come up actually, unless it's been traded for a while. So you want to find your contract address Let's go to here. And just to safely remove LP, 
make sure obviously no one's brought in uh, copy your contract address here I'm in the wrong wallet that could mean why it didn't show up so we'll just connect number one and we've got our pool here and you'll click manage now if you want to and I would advise migrate over to v3 uh, in terms of your liquidity pool so we'll just remove that max approve it and then we'll remove it and bear in mind I'm not showing everyone how to rug I'm just showing you how to <laughs> remove your LP on a desk contract and once that's done you may have to unwrap it, but we'll show you you receive this and this and your tokens as well from there. So I hope you've found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Join our Telegram in the group if you need support deploying.